Hello everyone, Katarina here. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I have for you two cards. One is very simple, seems to be my go-to layout where I stamp, color and die cut, create some kind of a background, adhere the image in the middle of a card and add a sentiment. I use this layout on the guinea pig card, on the snowflake card and this monster card. All these cards I made in the past half a year. Well, I like to make quick and easy cards, but I wanted to get myself out of my comfort zone at least a little bit. So I made second card that is tiny bit more complex. I'm using here this stamp set from Clearly Besotted. I already used the stamp with a row of tulips at the beginning of this month. Actually, I was planning to release this video at a time. There I used a stamp with a row of daffodils and I also have a stamp set with a row of poppies. I thought it would be great, sort of a trilogy, have them all together, but for the poppies, I have different ideas. So I'm using the smaller stamp with the three tulips, and for the coloring medium, I'm using water based markers. These are the Sakura Koi markers, but there are other brands that make such markers as well. I also have here a water brush and a watercolor cardstock. I cut the cardstock into smaller pieces as it's easier to handle, and then I stamp the flowers using the VersaFine ink in Onyx Black. I stamped multiple flowers to have them also for the second card. I actually stamped more flowers than I needed. But for the first card, I only needed one bundle of the flowers. Next, I did the coloring. Again, I'm coloring all at once. The way I use these markers with flowers, I apply the color at the bottom of the petal and areas where the shadows would be, for example, at the edge of the overlapping petal. And then with a the brush pen, you can also use a normal brush and a jar of water. I move the pigment and cover the rest of the area. To have the bottom part more saturated, I either only add the water to the pigment that is on the top or I use water on the whole part of the pigment. Then I clean the brush with a paper towel and then I drag the lighter pigment up. I first color the petals on all of the stamped flowers using pinks, purples, reds and yellows. And then I color the stems and the leaves with the green marker. For the first card, the simple card, I also wanted to do a background and I did the ink smooshing technique. I mainly saw people doing this with inks like distress inks. I used the distress inks for this technique for the snowflake card, but I wanted to keep the supplies to minimum. So I took one of the water-based markers, I picked a yellow and how you do this technique, you use an acetate to scribble the marker over it, add some water to it, turn it over and squish it onto the cardstock. You can use separate cardstock like watercolor cardstock for the background and create a panel that you adhere on top of the card base. I usually would do that, but this time I squished the color directly onto the card base, which is not made out of watercolor cardstock. And at first it did look like the water damaged the cardstock. You can see a little bit of close up. You can see it looks a little bit of rough, but once it was dry, it smoothened out. Next, I stamped the sentiment. I used the same stamp set I used on the other two cards I made this month. 
and I stamped it directly onto the card base using the VersaFine ink in Onyx Black. Then I adhered the tulips uh, right in the middle of the yellow background. I used tiny double sided foam squares to adhere it so it's a little bit erased. And lastly, something I forget most of the time, I adhered few clear jewels around the flowers. These are the Ice Cube Mix Jewels from Lucy's Cards. First, I scattered them around to see where I want them to be. And then I took a liquid adhesive to adhere them onto the card. I'm using here the Multimedia Matte Adhesive from Ranger. And the first card is finished. Moving on the second card, I said I wanted to do something different than I usually do. And the only idea I had is to stack few die cut flowers on top of each other. I started by working on how I wanted the flowers to be placed. Then I took a photo as a reference. This way I knew where to place the die cuts. Same as on the first card, I adhered them directly onto the card base. But again, you can use a separate panel and then adhere the whole thing onto the card base. For some of the flowers, I used a glue, glue pen more specifically. This one is from Nuvo. And for the other flowers, I used a double-sided foam tape. I have two types of the double-sided tape. The little squares are slightly thicker. For the red tulips, I actually used the foam tape as well as the glue pen. And all together, I adhered seven flowers. After I was done adhering all the die cuts, I stamped the sentiment. It's better to stamp the sentiment before adhering all the die cuts, especially when you are using a double sided tape. But this way I had a better idea where to stamp the sentiment. I used the stamp that says just for you. Again, I used the same stamp set I used on the first card. And I also stamped it with the VersaFine ink in Onyx Black. Lastly, just like on the first card, I decided to add a few embellishments. For this card, I took out the clear drops and again, I adhere them using the Multimedia Matte Adhesive from Ranger. So the cards are finished. Here are both together. I really like how they turned up. I like both of them equally. I actually don't have a favorite. I think they are pretty in their own way. And I'm happy I decided to go a little bit out of my comfort zone. Even though I didn't do anything super complicated, this is something I usually don't do. I hope you like these cards as well. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and hop over to my blog if you would like to see photos of the cards or the supply list. The links you can find in the description below. If you would like to see what I did with the stamp with a row of tulips or the row of daffodils, just click on the videos that are showing on your screens now. You can also find the links in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.